Hi guys, my name is Maria and if you guys want to know how to style your hair like this with the Rowenta Brush Active Volume and Shine brush, then just keep on watching. So before we get started with the brush, you really want to blow dry your hair or just let it air dry until it's about 75% dry or 70, it doesn't really matter. It's not math here. So I actually like to start drying it around the roots just because that's the area where the brush doesn't really dry it that much and I also like to use my hand because that way I don't use a brush and I'm not pulling and tugging on my hair and I'm just kind of making sure it's dry but mostly around the roots. Okay so now that it's basically dry you just want to like lightly brush your hair. So the next step is to use a leave-in conditioner and you can use any leave-in conditioner you want. This actually does have oil in it so I don't put that much toward my roots just on my ends. I kind of went overboard, but I can't really see that well because the mirror is behind the camera and I kind of need the mirror, but I'm kind of winging it right here. Hopefully it'll turn out all right though. Then what I like to do is just kind of rub it in. And now my hair looks wet again, but it's just from the leave-in conditioner. So what you're going to need now is any regular hair clip just because we're going to section off our hair like we would for hair straightening or curling. So I just like to take it right above my ears like that. And then this top part, I like to just kind of like make a little bun. Okay, let's get started. So first off, I like to use it on number one care. That's what I use to dry it a little bit. And then we're gonna go in with number two, which has more heat. I don't want to damage my hair because it's blonde too. And just to explain, this means going this direction and this button goes the other direction. And I kind of switch directions. So I hold my brush horizontally and go under my hair and just pull it outwards and kind of just focus on the ends and by going under I give it the most amount of volume. And then I'm going to go on top to ensure that my hair will dry. Okay now we're going to go with the second setting which is number two. So on the number two setting I do the exact same thing going under it to kind of style it and give it the volume and then I'm going to go over it to make sure that it's dry before going under one last time before giving it the final shape. And to style it the way I want, I like to go vertically and outwards. So this vertical way actually is what gives me the final style. And you'll see right there the little bouncy curl at the end in just a second. And there you have it. And for the other side of my head, I do the same thing. I style it vertically going outwards. So always keep it vertical. And that's what I use to get that nice loop at the bottom. And don't forget to do it on the back and go outwards. And now I'm going to take another little section out. So basically you want to just section off your hair one more time and take the top part. I just kind of wing it, you know, the top part. Again, we're going to start with one and then we go to two. Uh, you basically want to go to two when it's almost dry but there's still a little bit of wetness in your hair just because that's when you want to really style it and fix it into place. So I basically just go under and then over a couple times on the number one setting and then once it's almost dry I switch to number two and then do the exact same thing under and then over before styling it vertically. And like I did before, I like to use the brush vertically to style it into shape and really focus on the ends to give them this rounded effect and that's basically what makes my hair look bouncy. And then on the other side of my head, I like to do the same thing after going under over. I like to go vertically with my brush and I will also go from up to down, so basically with my brush vertically I will go downwards and that will give the hair kind of like a spiral effect and then I do the back part of my hair just to make sure that everything is dry. Now I moved on to the top part of my hair and like I said before I like to go under to give volume first and then I'll go over to make sure that the hair is dry. before I switch to the second setting and then I repeat the exact same steps under, over, under. And again, at the very end, I will go vertically and that's the way I'll style it into shape. And by doing it vertically, it kind of goes toward my face and it kind of just frames my face and gives it that nice bouncy effect. 
Over here, I'm actually demonstrating another effect. I'm using the brush vertically and then going backwards, so going toward the back of my head. And I also kind of go downwards and make these little spirals, and that's how they look. I basically do this a couple times just to make sure that my hair is dry and styled into place. And don't forget the back. So the way I actually style my hair today was just vertically and I didn't do any of those like vertical drops if you will I don't know what to call them but like when I show you guys like going this way and making that little spiral you can do that but right now the way my hair looks right now I only did it vertically so like this that's all I did and when I got to the end right here I was on number two so it was really hot and then I just moved my finger and turned it to the cool button and kind of cooled it and I have noticed that if you do that it actually makes it shinier and the bounce is more bouncier I guess and the cool thing about this is that if you want straight hair you actually can get it but you just have to kind of brush it like through and that should get you more of a straightened version like you should have straight hair but a little bit of volume and if you want curls and have longer hair you should be able to get a curl I actually can because my hair is so short but if you have long hair I'm just me girl but I will try that when my hair does get there eventually. So I am actually using this smaller brush. They do have two. So there's another one, but I don't use it because it's bigger and it's meant for longer hair. And it's supposed to give you those nice beachy waves, which I can't wait to try, but I need longer hair for that. So I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. Another cool thing is that they have ceramic plates, which is pretty neat because other products similar to this have either metal or other types of plastic, I guess. Now what I really love about this brush, and I love it for my blonde hair, is the fact that it's made out of more bristles. And these more bristles are super gentle on your hair because it's hair on hair. And I love using more bristle. If I talked about it in my hair care routine that I use a more bristle brush. And the fact that I could find a brush like this made out of more bristle is a win for me because it really makes my hair shiny and soft as opposed to regular plastic ones that kind of just pull and break my hair. So this does prevent a lot of breakage that other stylers like the Revlon one has, I think. And I mean, I feel like they might have more bristles. I don't know, but any other ones that have just regular plastic tend to break your hair more than this. The bristles do kind of deteriorate a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, I have used this for two months now, but they're actually okay. So they still work. And if they do kind of flatten out a little bit, don't be worried because they work just as good as when I first started using this. So I'm actually pleased with that. Oh, by the way, this does have an ion booster, which I'm really, really happy about because I love using ion technology. I do have it in my straightener and in my blow dryer. And it does make a world of a difference if you typically have frizzy hair. And I'm so happy that this, you know, keeps the frizz at bay because I do have a lot of frizzy hair. And if you do see some frizz here and there, just keep in mind that I did bleach it seven times. So that is the reason. All in all, I have nothing but good things to say about this product. The only con, I guess, is that it does take a little bit of a learning curve. I mean, the first time I used it, I was having a hard time with it, honestly. I was just so jealous of other people on YouTube because they just seemed to use this so easily and I couldn't. And I remember the first time I was just like, oh my goodness, it's pulling my hair. No. and I was so scared to use it that it would break my hair especially because it's blonde but no it didn't break any of my hair and it does take a little bit to use the first time I actually used it on wet hair completely and it does take a longer time to dry it if it's completely wet the reason why I think you should use this on drier hair is because when your hair is wet and you're brushing it it actually holds more of a resistance against the brush the brush has a tendency to kind of pull on it more and go up toward the roots and you can easily just pull your hair and it's not fun by the way you guys i'm not sponsored they did not send me this i bought this with my own money but i'm just so happy with it and i wanted to share it with you guys because maybe you're thinking about purchasing this and don't know how to use it or don't know how to get this style with it so i actually stopped using my straightener ever since i got this just because because I love it for you know giving my hair some volume and just some balance I feel like my hair has so much more personality now and it's not dead and flat like it used to be when I used to straighten it and if you're having a hard time using it the first time don't give up I promise you you'll get used to it and you'll your hands will basically just know what to do but it does take a little bit of practice I would say the second or third time I actually got the hang of things and I wasn't thinking about what I was doing anymore so just keep practicing and know that it happens to everyone and ever since I started using this I honestly haven't touched my strainer so you know I feel like my hair has been healthier and I'm actually happy because my damaged blonde hair cannot take any more straightening so it's a plus for blonde hair it's kind of like a magical wand for blonde hair if you will